Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. I had a few people ask me how I clean Dirk's cage. By the way, this is Dirk if you haven't met him before. It's his first time starting in his own video. But I'm going to show you how I do it. It's pretty easy, simple, quick. It also come in handy if you have like rats, ferrets, or even birds. So let me put him in his ball so he can get for a run about the house and I'll be right back. Okay, you're just going to need a few simple items, a dustpan, a brush, I have cage clean, I know it doesn't say cage clean on the bottle except for what I wrote on there, the old spray bottle broke so I stuck it in my own, a cleaning rag, something to put the litter in, I like this because I just slide right underneath the cage and just scoop it out and put it in, and a shop vac. I'm going to bring you up closer so you can see how I do this. Okay, actually it's pretty simple. Go ahead open the cage. I'm going to take the water bottle out. Take the food bowl out. Slide my container underneath the cage and just start scooping. Okay, after you get that far, you want to take your brush and sweep it out. Now, the reason you sweep it out before you shop vac it, or vacuum it out, however you want to say it, is because you don't want any large chunks, because that will clog the vacuum. I'll go ahead, do the other side, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, in the summer, what I normally do is just take this outside, hose it off outside, and clean it up. But it's 20 degrees out today, so we're not doing that. I'm going to go ahead, use the sop back, vacuum it out, then use the cage clean, clean off the shelves and the bottom. Now, I, I vacuum the shelves off every night because, well, he poos. I mean, he has a litter pan. He uses that to pee, but he poos everywhere. I know you can get that, those shelves out like a wire mess that the poo will fall down in. But that's not a real good idea because they can get that bumble toe where their toes just get like that. So uh, it's better just to have these shelves and do a little extra work. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, this cage clean also works for bird cages, and if you have, like, dogs and you put them in those crates, or carrying crates, or carrying cases, or whatever you call them, you can also clean those with this. I like to spray it till the whole thing kind of looks wet. You don't know if you missed the spot, you can tell it right away. Okay, this is what it looks like before I used the cage clean, okay, and this is the side I just did. I'm going to go ahead, finish cleaning it, and I'm going to show you how I fill it up with the litter. Okay, we got everything wiped down, and if you're wondering what the white powder was, it, well, it's cornstarch. The reason being, your chinchilla needs dust baths a couple times, a few times a week. And uh, one of the manufacturers that actually produced the lava dust, well, stopped doing it. So I went to go get it, and I got half the size for twice the price. So I found a, a cheap alternative, and that's cornstarch. 
and it is used commonly. It's also illegal in competition because it covers the red in that white chinchilla's fur. I would try it with one of the gray chinchillas, but a white one it's going to work fine. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. Now I bought this stuff, it's pretty well compact when you first get it. It's like a big block. So you just break off a little piece, throw it in, fill it up. I'm just going to put all the loose stuff in first. See what I mean? It's kind of like a big block. Except this ain't a big block, it's a small block. Just bust it up and it, it increases in size. I usually do up to about a second digit. Okay. Deep. So you can kind of just break off a block and stick it in. Okay, that's about it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. You got the idea. I hope this helps you out. I just want to let everybody know I actually started a Patreon if you're going to support the channel. You don't have to. I'm just putting that out there because a couple people asked me about it. Well, a few people asked me about it. So, as always, thanks for everything you do for me and do for the channel, and thank you for watching.